Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to create a 3D interactable in-game user widget. To get started with this, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a couple of widgets. And the first one is just going to be the widget that we're going to interact with. And I'm going to go to user widget and I'm going to call this WBP interactable widget. And then we're just going to double click into this. We'll dock it in the layout and I'm just going to get a button here and drag it down here and we're going to set it to desired, which is the size that it really is. And then we're just going to get some text and put that on the button. And this is just going to say something like interact with me. And all this button is going to do is print out a string. So I'm going to come into the graph and we're going to go to the button and not on click, but on pressed. And we're just going to print a string. So we'll go print string here. And it's just going to say something like, congratulations, you have created a 3D widget. If I come back here, I can go back onto my designer view here and we have our widget. To know that we're hovering over this, what I'm going to do is on the style here, if I come to, we go to style here, I'll just change hovered to a different color so that we know that we're hovering over it. And that will change in the game to alert us to that we have are in fact interacting with it. Like that. So all this is going to do is print a string. I want to create a target so that we know where our the center of our screen is exactly. So it'll act almost as if a a pointer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another user widget here and go user widget and we'll just call this WBP target. And this time we're going to get a canvas panel and drag this into the scene. And then we're just going to stretch this out to 1920 by 1080. And then we are going to get an image and drag that down here onto the canvas panel. And then what I want to do is center this image in the screen. So I'm going to go to anchor. I'm going to hold down control and select the center, come back to anchor hold down shift and select the center. And now that's perfectly aligned in the center. Now I want to also swap out this image. So I'm just going to search for, I think it's called target right here, this one right here. And it looks like it's warping to a weird size. So we'll just change it to 30 by 30. If I zoom in on it, that's what it looks like right there. So we'll just have that there. And I'm just going to put this on the screen. So in my level viewport here, I'm just going to go on event begin play. Event begin play right here. And then we're just going to create that widget. So we have a target on our screen. So create widget and just simply add to, to viewport here. And normally I would put this in a HUD or something, but just in the interest of time. So if I hit play, you'll see that target in the middle of the screen. You see that? Now what we can do is we have our target set. We have our interactable button widget that prints out a string. So we need to create two blueprints. One is going to be for our widget component and one is going to be for our widget interaction. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to go to blueprint class, actor, and I'm going to call this BP underscore 3D widget like that. And we're going to double click into it. And we're just going to add our widget component right here. And this is so interesting because it just allows us to display a user widget of our own creation on the screen. So it wants a, it's looking for a widget to display. So that's why we come to widget class and we're going to select our 
interactable. And see, what's happening is this draw size is almost functioning the same as a size box. And so it's making this way bigger than it needs to be. So I'm going to guesstimate that it's about 300. So the first box is the X. So that's going to be 300 by, I would say, no more than 40. So it, that's about the size of our widget. And that's all we need to do for this. And so if I drag this into the scene, it only shows in one direction. I hit the space bar, I can spin it around. You can see there is our interactable widget in the scene. So now we just need a way to interact with it and we can actually use a pointer to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a pawn to interact in this game mode environment. And what you could do is actually switch from a player character into the pawn mode when you wanted the player to be able to interact with these widgets and then switch back to the player character. I haven't been able to get this to work with the third person player character yet. I've only been able to get this to work in the pawn mode. So that's why we're going into a pawn. So I'm gonna right click, go to blueprint class, and then I'm gonna search for default pawn right here and we'll go select and I'll just call this my pawn and we can double click into this and we're going to add a widget interaction right here and this component allows us to interact with the widgets in the scene so this is really interesting so what we can do is drag off of this and pull it into the scene I can right click and we're going to drive this off a left mouse button action. So I'm just going to search for left mouse button here. And then if we pull off of here, you'll notice we have the option under pressed to press and release key, press pointer key, press key. And we want press pointer key here. And then if we drag off of here, we also have the option to release the pointer key. So that's there. And then all we have to do is hook this up. So the key is our left mouse button. So we just plug that in there and plug this in there. And then this released goes in here and this pressed goes in here like that. And that's all we have to do. Now the pawn is, did I drag the pawn into the scene already? I don't think I did. So with our pawn, I can pull it into the scene like that. And then what I want to do, since I'm in third person mode, is I'm just going to search for auto possess player and put that on there, placed in world. So what should happen is when I hit play, you'll see, oh, this is the most important thing I just remembered. If we come into my pawn, we have to tie its pitch and yaw to the player controller. Otherwise, we won't have target control. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search for rotation here and you'll see we're under pawn where it says use controller, rotation, pitch, and yaw. And we'll just select both of those. Okay, now we'll have control over that target that we created. So now if I come to the third person and I hit play, you'll see I can fly around the scene with my pawn and you'll see I have that target in the center of the screen. And then if I come over here, if I just point at this, you'll see I have, I can interact with it. Isn't that cool? And then I could have a whole series of buttons that I'm able to interact with. And if I left mouse button, you'll see it's printing out the string. So that's pretty cool, right? And then I'll show you one last thing. If we come into my pawn and we go to my widget interaction, you'll see we can set a debug on here and that's that'll just create a red dot in the middle of the scene and you can control the interaction distance too. So anyway, that's all I had for today. I hope you found it helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.